Glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Yahushua Hamashia, we come in your presence. We look unto you, O God. This day, we have all gathered here. Lord, you have been leading us and guiding us. We request you, Holy Spirit, to once again anoint us, give us your wisdom, understanding, knowledge, so that we can accomplish what you want us to do today. Father God, you lead us and guide us. Lord, the highest sacrifice was done on the cross, and Lord, let this be a time when the altar of Christ be, be upon us all. Father God, we request you to make a smoke screen in the spirit realm against interlopers, satanists, evil spirits, and evil agents. Cover us all from top, bottom, and each side, and give us an extended protection to ourselves, our families, and everything that we have, and our ministry. Lord, we look unto you. Holy Spirit, you lead us, you guide us. In the name of Yahushua Hamashia, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Okay, so um, before we get into studying, I, I'm sure that many of us, if not all of us, you listen to the information I shared to help us prepare concerning the false bones and the blood of sprinkling. Also, what um, the blood of sprinkling can be used, you know, to pray for anyone else, you know, not just for the false bone. Okay. If you don't already have um, your elements for communion, please go and bring it. You know, um, part of the cup is going to, because that is the blood of Jesus Christ. That is um, part of the cup. Uh, the blood is going to be used, you know, for your, um, to do the sprinkling, you know, as a prophetic act, not that the Lord is not going to sprinkle his blood upon us, you know, while we, when we navigate, but you do an outward action to confirm the um, spiritual that has already been done as a prophetic act, connect with it. Okay. Then um, one of the things the, um, the Lord wanted us to deal with are the curses that are placed with, on the first bonds of our, of our, um, of our families. So if you can take a minute <laughs> or two minutes to look at the curses that you, you know, or verdicts of hell that are written or, or edicts of hell that are written in your, in the light of your firstborns or people that play the role of firstborns in your family. So we, we understand, um, you can use yourself as an example. You can use your children. You can just name them. It is time to bring them under that blood. Okay, and have them removed to bring them under the blood of Jesus Christ and have them removed. If it's mental challenges, if it's um, okay, we put it curses, hardships, verdicts of hell, edicts of hell, even though those are the ones, yeah, that's uh, you know, if you notice that it's a pattern, you know, or things that's um, so um, note them, we're gonna note them, okay. Um, write them, you know. Now, it could also be, you know, things like even pride, you know. It could, have, you know, some of them might be wanderers, as in they never get to um, focus, get focused on, on important things and of their life because they are, you know. Um, so we are going to be calling the spirit man and the soul. Remember, we're going to be calling the spirit man and the soul. Um, one of the things I've discovered um, is sometimes people's souls are as yes, the captivity of the soul can be quite stronger than that of the spirit, you know, because the enemy knows the soul is what connects the spirit realm to the reality one lives on the physical realm. Okay. So he knows. So they try to take hold of their soul. And sometimes the um the soul is the one in, in charge of that entity, not the entity, not the other way. 
the Sotix, you know, controls that entity or controls, has armies of um, demonic spirits or even other human souls that's, you know, are under them. So we'll see. So pay attention to that, you know. Uh, so that's what we're going to be calling the spirit and the souls to come in. The soul has its own will, but we'll have the Lord Jesus to go bring all of them in from everywhere they are. So that because it is time for our freedom. Yes, the soul chooses, but the Lord can always override the will of, you know, forget about all those things. They say, oh, the Lord, the Lord only works with our will. Yeah, he gives us opportunity to make the wise, this, but then he takes over when he wants to take over. And I gave you an example about myself. The Lord said, no, this is what you're going to do. You're not going to go left or you're not going to go right. This is the path you're going to go. That is it. You know, I wasn't given the choice to choose. Okay. Yeah. But um, so he overrides. He can override. He can override our will. He's done that so many times. So this is not going to be the first time. But we'll have the Lord go bring the, he knows how to, you know, um, get at the souls. We'll have him bring them in. And then what else? We would, uh, then the Lord talked to me about dedication. He wants the, us to dedicate ourselves and, and then our firstborns, all the firstborns we're bringing should be dedicated to him. Many of them were not were never dedicated to him. We did some of that in the previous, when we were in the courts, you know, doing the severing, and then we did some of that. But he said he wants specific, you know, he wants it expanded some more. He's going to, the Holy Spirit's going to do that. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to go through all of this, but <laughs> he will get us through. You know, that is the fun part of it, you know, how the Holy Spirit works these things out at the end of the day. And we are going to release the blessing. So we'll do dedication, we'll do overturning the cancellation and overturning the curses and verdicts and edicts of her. And then we will do the, um, we will do the, the, we will release the blessing, we'll claim the blessings, all the things that have been lost, you know, the losses, the restoration, the rest of the what was what lost and the blessing of the Lord upon our um the first bond any questions on what we are going to be doing are we clear are you are we ready to see freedom to take <laughs> this freedom and run with it are we ready okay 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 yeah so um Abby, would you do the Thanksgiving for us, please? Take us in with Thanksgiving. And Nana, you can take us in with praise. Yeah. Abby, you can do Thanksgiving for us. Are you there? Yes, I am. I and will. then Nana, and get us into the court with praise. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our King of glory, our Lord of hosts. Oh, our loving Savior, our Redeemer. We enter into your gates, Father God, with thanksgiving in our hearts. We have come today to say you are so good. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your loving kindness. We will enter your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. And we will enter your courts with praise. Oh Lord, we will say, that this is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, we will rejoice, for you have made us glad. Oh, we will enter your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. And we will enter your courts with praise. Oh Lord, we will say within ourselves that this is the day you have made and we will rejoice for you have made us glad. 
Oh, you have made us glad, and we are so glad. We will rejoice, for you have made us glad. Hallelujah, you have made us glad, Jehovah. We are so glad. Oh, we will rejoice, for you have made us glad. Thank you, Father, for making us glad. Your rejoicing is what? Oh, God gives us strength. Thank you for your rejoicing today. Thank you for your goodness today. Thank you for your loving kindness today. Thank you for being there for us today. Thank you for always, always being with us, never letting us go. We are grateful. We thank you. We thank you that we can come to you as a group. Thank you for ordaining this session today, for ordaining it, that everyone is present here to receive of you because, Lord, you have something, oh, something good for us, our good God. We are passionately grateful and we thank you for it and we give you glory. Father, Lord, we thank you, oh God, for going ahead of us, oh God, Lord, to part the Red Sea, for going ahead of us, oh God, to bring de deliverance, oh God, for our souls, for going ahead of us, oh Lord, to set us free from every bondage. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for being our Jehovah Sabaoth, the man of war, the one who fights our battle. Thank you, Lord, for being a Jehovah Shalom, our peace today. Oh, God, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for being a Jehovah Shammah, always present. Oh, God, always with us, surrounding us, oh, God, comforting our hearts, oh, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for doing great and mighty things. We are grateful. We bless you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, we are so thankful. Our hearts are full of thanks, oh God, and thanksgiving. Lord, we bless your holy name. And so, Lord, my God, we say you are worthy. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we continue to praise you, to magnify you. We enter your court with praise. Father, we praise you because you are mindful of us. We praise you for the new life you have given to us. We praise you for breathing your breath into our nostril. We praise you for let us come in alive again. We praise you for lifting our head up. We praise you for ordaining this session for us to let our soul also be free in your name. We praise you. We lift you high because you are the Alpha and the Omega. We praise you because you are a yam that I am. And this is the day that you have made. You told Moses, I have heard the cry, the groaning of the, your, the children of Israel. That is why we praise you today that you have heard the groaning of our soul. And you want to set us free and give us freedom and liberty. We praise you. How God you are among the gods who is like you. Father, there is no one before you, no one after you, no one like you. You who say and is established and nobody can turn it around. That is why we praise you because you put your hand on your chest and you said, I am that I am. It's a big name. I am that I am. We praise you. I am that I am. We lift you high. I am that I am. We say you are the victorious, glorious king. I am that I am. Oh, when you heard our voice this morning, this evening, this afternoon, 
wherever we say we praise you. You are majesty. You are glorious. You are fearful in praises. We magnify you. You are God who reign forever. You are God who sit and establish. Because of you, you establish the foundation of the earth up to today. We praise you. We are walking on the ground that is left lay on the water. Father, we praise you. We praise you. How manifold is your work? Hey, Father, yes. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. Beginning and the end. You who know the end from the beginning, we praise you. We lift your name on high. We praise you for the mighty things you are going to do today in our midst. We praise you for the hidden and secret things you are going to reveal and you will conquer it. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. On all knowing God, we praise you. We praise you for your kindness. We praise you for your merciful, glorious greatness upon us. We praise you because you are the forgiving father. We praise you, the king of kings. We praise you, the Lord of lords. We praise you, Sharon. We praise you, Sabot. We praise you, Elohim. Elohim. Elohim, Elohim, when you hear your name, we are saying your children all with one accord said, we praise you and we love you. We love you, Adonai. 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 God of all creation, we praise you. We enter your court with praise this morning in the name of Jesus. We praise you. Amen. 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 Yes, Father. Who is like unto thee? Abba, Father. Father, we love you. We exalt your holy name. Yes, Lord. We ask for your permission to step into your chambers. Our loving, loving Father. The good, good, good Father. We come, O oh Lord, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our body, with every component of a person. We come, mighty God. Yes. And we're about sh shutting down our flesh completely and totally. For we have been baptized into Christ Jesus. Therefore, our flesh, you are dead and buried in Christ. We don't need your participation. We don't want your participation. Yes, you are going to remain dead and just receive. And I call our spirit man to be fully present on the surface. The spirit man is where the spirit of God lives. We wrap our hearts inside your precious Holy Spirit and entwine ourselves as one with you. Yes, Lord. For we truly don't know what to do if you don't guide us, if you don't direct us. But say that you will teach us all things and you guide us into all truths. Yes. Yes, you reveal to us what to do, how to do it, where to do it, when to do it. Yes, we thank you, Holy Spirit. And we, we bring in our soul and submit us so bring us under the lordship of jesus christ mm -hmm. so you are not going to wander off you're not going to be distracted you're not going to try to use up your authority no you are going to settle down you're going to listen you're going to follow after the leading of the spirit man ours yes mm -hmm. in the name of jesus christ so father here we come as your little children we need you. We want you. We love you. We appreciate you so much. We come, oh Lord, for us and for all the firstborns in our families, oh Lord, in our bloodlines, in our households, 
we come. Yes, Father. Yes, we know. You said that today we are going to be dealing with the firstborns and the blood of sprinkling. So here we are, Father. Yes, Lord. Open our eyes. We open. Our, yes, we give you our eyes, our ears, our mouth, our spiritual senses, and say, Lord, communicate to us and with us. However, you deem fit. What to do? Mm -hmm. How to do it and where to meet you, oh Lord? You are the Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord, for you are worthy to be praised. We worship you, our Father. Yes, we worship you, our Lord. We bless you, Daddy. If you are seeing anything or you're hearing anything or you're perceiving anything, let us know. Oh, yes, Father, you can extrapolate this session as far as you want to. Anyone want to share what they're hearing or what they're perceiving? Okay, so we are going to go to the throne room, you know, we're going to go to the throne room and um, Okay, so we're going to do according to the categories that the Lord has told me. Yes, um, Abby, go ahead. Yes, uh, what I saw was, uh, you know, the just before you said you were going to the throne room, his throne was lifted high. You know, was it was as if it was taken lifted high. That was what I saw. So when Praise you said that, I said, oh, God, okay. <laughs> I'm sure I should, I should say this. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, okay. Father, we thank you. So we're going to run everything in that throne room. Yes, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, our Father. This is really a quick one. Thank you so much. We receive and we ask for permission to step out of your chambers. Okay. So make sure you have the names of the people that you are bringing with you, you know, especially the ones we started with from last time you already brought in because they have been Severed. We've they have we have a legal right as in um, um what is it called again? Um they've been we've been divorced from the entities and all and all, and all of those other things. Okay, so it is important. This is the next stage. Please do not add any new names, it is for their protection. Don't add any new names. Rather, what you need to do is to take the that new person you want to add, go through. Except if you already went through the prayers for that person, you know, the, pre the previous one, okay? Then you can add the, the person in this one. It is really for their protection, okay? 
you cannot be dedicating someone who has not been severed legally in the courts of heaven. Um, you cannot be dedicating that one to to God if they have not been severed, because it means the kingdom of darkness, the force of darkness, to have claims on legal legal claims on that person. Okay, and um, that could backfire, you know. Okay, so let's not do that. So uh, that is one. Then two, I had mentioned at the beginning that we should note the curses or hardships or um, verdicts of hell, edicts of hell we have observed that are up, you know, um, operational in our first bones, you know, or in the first bones, that's one of them. So if, um, as the Spirit of God directs, is directing, so, okay, bring this curse, because we're going to mention some of them and all that, probably not, we may not get all of them, but we mention as many as possible, you know, pay attention. I don't want us to repeat, you know, so that we don't repeat the same curse. The Lord already knows. We don't go ahead and repeat it. So if there's anyone that we didn't re um, repeat, or I don't know, maybe the Lord will say, wherever you are, mention the curses you have noted. Mention the ones you have noted. Maybe he will go that route. He will say, mention the ones you have, uh, you know, and then you would, you know, mention in it. Remember, it's all of us that are going into that um, throne room. All I'm doing is just to help us coding, um, to us, um, the Holy Spirit to direct us, you know, as we move forward. Okay. And then um, make sure you have your communion. You know, the Lord Jesus is going to be coming. It's already waiting for us in the front room as well. The Spirit of God is also waiting in the throne room as well. So the God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, they are there waiting. And I could say that there were even angels. They're also waiting, you know, and... Um, and please do not bring your whole, don't, don't mention the names of all your children or all your grandchildren or everybody that you want. Don't do that, please. We have to believe that if the first born is made whole, that will reach everybody else. Okay? You truly have to believe that. Except if the first, maybe your first son and your first that you only have two children to, you know, per se, you know, or there are only two people or that play that role, you know, in your family. That is fine. And that, that is, I mean, there is no other person. It's only me, myself, and I. That is fine, you know. Then you can um, bring in everybody. But don't bring in, um, like, uh, oh, I have four children. I'm putting their names down. No. Once the first one is dedicated to the Lord, the whole is dedicated to the Lord. It's the same principle for first fruits you know, for, uh, for first fruits or tight and all those things, okay? If the lump, um, if the first fruit, then the whole lump is whole, is dedicated unto the Lord, okay? So then the other thing is also is um, for the curses you have noted, you know, I know that Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, that's one of the things you're going to use to overturn them by the blood of Jesus Christ, you know? So, but see if there are other, if there are specific um, specific scriptures that release the blessing that overturns that curse, that releases the blessing, you know, scriptures that release the blessing that overturns that curse, okay? That would also help as well. And you can put those scriptures in the chat, and also you can also put the curses you feel that are not, uh, that are part of whatever um, that you really want us to mention. You can also put, it in, put them in the chat. The curses put in the chat, the blessings, but put the curse and the blessing that's going to overturn it. So the angels will know will know how to sort these things out. I probably uh, we probably will not get through all of them, but God knows, and He's going to get through all of them. He knows there are ones He knows that we don't even know. But I'm also sensing that there are other people that the Lord is going to use this to, you know, bring deliverance to other false bones that are being um, held captive, you know, um, where our own. Um, where the souls of our firstborns are being held captive. And also sense that the Lord will also use this. So you never know how far the Lord takes the prayer that we engage in. We don't know how far he takes it and he's free to do that. Okay. So are we clear on the instructions so far? Okay. Am I, is my voice um, clear? 
though if it is even kind of raspy is my voice clear okay yeah thank you for that feedback okay interesting we'll see how the holy spirit directs us okay let's go <clears throat> almighty god our father El Elyon Olam, he that sits enthroned above all. The King of Kings, the Lord over all, the Master over all, the Supreme God over all. We, your children and your servants, ask for your permission to step into your throne room. Okay, we thank you for we step in by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. For when he died on the cross, the veil was turned from top to bottom so we can come in into your throne room. Yes, Lord. We come on behalf of ourselves as firstborns in the capacity that you have made it possible for us to be firstborns and on behalf of all the others that will bring it with us. Now, people have got mentioned the names of the people you have with you. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> yes, we come. For ourselves and for all the people, all these people that we came with, oh Lord. And we're calling that you have your angels bring their spirit man into this throne room. Yes, Lord. We come with our spirits and we bring in our souls as well. And I'm asking, oh Lord Jesus Christ, our real high priest, and our meet and the mediator, our mediator of the of of, of the ever better and everlasting <clears throat> covenant, sealed with your blood that you would go and bring in the souls of all the people that we brought with us. Yes, Lord, bring them from all the other realms where they may have been trafficked to, including the cosmos, other places in the earth, in the earth beneath, in the waters, underneath the waters, in the trees, underneath the trees, on the mountains, underneath the mountains, and in other humans. Yes, King Jesus. 
bring them in. <clears throat> and I'm also calling that you bring in, yes, all the other people that due to the actions that we already repented for though, yes, due to the actions of ourselves or of our, our members of our families and bloodlines, oh Lord, that they too will be brought in. Yes, they were taken into captivity. Those false bonds were taken into captivity. Our desire as we come in here, oh Lord, is for you to receive your rewards from the firstborns. Yes, Lord. And that your will be established in all the earth as it is done here in heaven. We make this request, Almighty God, because you are merciful, because you're good, because it is your, because you so loved us that you gave your son, Jesus Christ, the lamb of God that was slain for us. Thank you, mighty God. And Lord, you said that we should come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in this time of need. Yeah. So we come by the Holy Spirit, the spirit of grace. For we truly do not know how to present this to you or to go about it. Neither do we know what is in your mind concerning this session the details of it. We know that this is our time of freedom. So we trust you, the Holy Spirit, that, yes, to convey your mind to us and to speak through us. That together we will see that freedom manifested in our lives on earth as it is here in heaven. We call for the blood of Jesus Christ to be brought in. Yes, the blood of the everlasting covenant. That speaks better things on our behalf than the blood of, than any other blood seeking for vengeance. That any other blood speaking evil, releasing evil frequencies, over our lives. We call for the cross to be brought in, which is the highest altar that you have given to us. Yes. Thank you, mighty God. We call for members of our um, of our families that are in the cloud of witnesses. Yes, Lord, to join us, to be to be present in this throne room. Yes, Lord. We also call for the angels that you've assigned to us as individuals and to our families. as well as the elders you've assigned to us, O oh Lord. We call for them to, to come into this throne room. Oh, okay.
Yes. So, Almighty God, King of Kings, where do you want us to start? What do you want us to start with? Okay. Start with the names, declaring the names of the Lord. Okay. So as we declare your names, O oh Lord, um, my tongue is a tongue of a ready writer, and we are using we as we. I'm using as by declaring your name, we are also writing your names on us, on our hearts, on our souls. That's marking us as your own, releasing the power that is in your name into our lives and into our realms. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, there is a group that I'm missing. Okay, we call for the creation to come in into the throne room. The sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the other planets. Yes, the living creatures and the elements of creation. According to Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 19, it said that they've been created to serve alongside with us to reveal the glory of the Lord in all the earth. Oh, okay. Okay. Jesus Christ is the, is our, um, is the bright and morning star. Therefore, we ask you, Lord Jesus, for all the stars of these firstborns that have been hijacked, Taken into captivity, we are calling, we are asking that you would go <clears throat> with the stars of heaven, with your stars, and go rescue these other stars. All of our stars have been hijacked. And let them be brought into this third heaven for processing. Yes. I hear that the, yes. Almighty God, have your angels dip their hand, their finger in the blood and sprinkle over the stars, sending your power to free them. Yes. I also request that the living water be poured upon those stars, mingled with the Father, the Spirit of God, breaking every shackle every bondage, every cord that is binding them, every veil that is used to cover them and rescue them from captivity. Yes, Lord. As they're brought into this third heaven, let them be cleansed. fed with the bread of life and the living water and be restored to the rightful owners. Okay, thank you. So we release your names, Almighty God. You are our merciful, forgiving and gracious Father our Abba Father, our Daddy, who will not, who will not in any degree give us up, who abandon us. Yes, who is always looking for ways to display your love for us. Yes. You are our righteousness, our Jehovah Sekenu, our Jehovah Makadesh. Our Jehovah Jireh, our Jehovah Shama, our Jehovah Shalom, our Jehovah 
Rafa Ajova Ra'a. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. You are Jehovah Sabuf, a Jehovah Gibor, a Jehovah Isus Mekama, a Jehovah Nisi, a Jehovah Uzi, a Jehovah Kaim, a Jehovah Kaim, a Jehovah Emekeslanu, a Jehovah Shafat, a Jehovah Kana, a Jehovah Ashib, Jehovah El Bore. Yes, Lord. El Shaddai, Adonai, Adonai Perazim, El Meleki, El Melek Kabot, El Olam, El Kadoshim, El Hanora, El Azar, El Zikva, El Gimoa, Yeshua Hamashiach, the Lamb of God that was slain for us. The Alpha and Omega. The Aleph and Tav. The living word. The light of men. The light and life of men. Our salvation, our redemption, our sanctification, our righteousness, our wisdom, our welfare, our prosperity, our security, our victory, our freedom, and our husband. Ruach HaKodesh, the wind and breath of God, our comforter, our advocate, Our resurrection, our life, our grace, our glory, our teacher, our intercessor, our refiner, yes, the power of the highest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. So we are going to start, we are going to deal with the curses first. I thought we we're going to do with, do with dedication first. Okay, the curses first. Okay. Thank you, Mary God. So if you can put, um, could that be the blessings? Okay. Deuteronomy 28 also has curses in them. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so how do you want us to start with the cancellation of the curses, mighty God? Okay. So, I am going to list some curses, and if you feel that there are other ones that are missing, yes. then we can take turns and include those ones. We will just list as much as possible.
So, Almighty God, we bring all the curses, the verdicts of hell, the edicts of hell, the cordials of hell, the heavy burdens and the yokes of hell. Yes, the yokes on the neck, the yokes on the hands, the yokes on the feet. Yes, Lord. Whether they were released by words, spoken words or unspoken words, by texts, by symbols, Yes, through promises, through oaths, through vows, through witchcrafts, through divinations, through rituals and sacrifices performed. Yes, your honor. And mighty God, we present also, we call for the decree, the, yes, the decree of divorce and the judgments you each on our behalf from last session, including the renunciations that we had done. Yes, we bring them to bear here. Yes, Lord. And we bring the cross of Jesus Christ before you, your honor. And we proclaim according to Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. That Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is written, curses everyone that hanged on the tree. And as the serpent was lifted up in the in the desert, so in the wilderness, so was the Son of Man lifted up. That whosoever would look at Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God slain for us, would leave. Yes, we now call for the fullness. We now yes, the fullness of the covenant, the, the blood of the of everlasting covenant that we have with you. Yes, so the birth, the life, the burial. The sufferings, the death, the burial, the resurrection, and the new life of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God that was slain for us. We call for it to, yes, to be, we call it, yes, we bring for the, um, the fullness of all that he has achieved for us through his precious blood. Yes, and we call for all the books of curses, all the books of the witchcrafts, and um, all the records. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. All the records of the curses, the, the witchcrafts, the divinations, The verdicts of other edicts of hell. We call for all the records, whether um, in the earth and all the other realms and and yes and dimensions and 
um, timelines and ages, including the ones that tied out that tied our um, that tied us to evil timelines, time wheels, and events. We call for them to be collected and brought under the at the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ. All the records. Yes, including but not limited to the curse of bondage. Yes, Lord. All forms of bondage. Yes. The curse of death, the curse of poverty, the curse of lack or, or never having enough, including financial lack, the curse of of wandering never focusing always wondering never seeming to arrive at um, fulfilling the purpose that God had that you have for us the curse of stupidity the curse of uselessness not not, not being useful to you or to themselves or to ourselves or to anyone else. The curse of shame and disgrace and humiliation. Yeah, that would be that's another one. The curse of barrenness and fruitlessness, yes. And that includes childlessness. The curse of madness. The curse of division. I have something division here. Yes. The curse of um, infirmities. So that will include all the infirmities, even so that um, whether viruses, um, cancers, um, malfunctions, dif dysfunctions of any body part, deficiency. Yes. Any other one that I, I there are so many curses that. Oh, OK, there's one that listed all of them here. OK. The curse of failure, the curse of depression. Yes, um, chronic illnesses. You know, sometimes the, 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 oh, this runs in the blood, in the family, um, in the bloodlines. No, Lord. The curse of um, severe rebuke or even rebuke from the kingdom of God. They do not, they're supposed to have that um, authority. They, they, don't, they do not have that authority. Yes, but it was given to them by our actions or actions of our blood bloodlines. Even, yes, thank you, Holy Spirit, transferred curses, you know, either by association or by location, as in being in certain places, or anyhow it was transferred. Transferred curses, oh Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. The curse of being tolerate, tolerated and not celebrated, nor accepted. The curse of rejection, that would be. The curse of betrayal. The curse of um, incident battles. Or fruitless battles too. You know, being like, like um, Paul said, being like one that box, that is boxing the air. The curse of isolation and loneliness. 
the curse of being undesirable, the curse of being unattractive, the the um so this one will be um included as some um, part of um uh, witchcrafts that are yes activities of yes so like the evil fragrance would be that it is spread on that person okay that could also be a curse and it could also fall on that verdicts of hell or witchcraft that is released on the and veils of darkness that are put on so that um the person is we are not seen and no one or see the things we need to see. Yes, the curse of being found repulsive. Yes, uh, abandonment, neglect, uh, the pride, yes, of being, uh, being used, taken advantage of, yeah, not good enough, you know, yes, of enslavement or slavery the curse of um yes as an orphan that is that, that also mm -hmm. of fear of being that cheated and of, uh, but also fall under victory you know or that the person will be uh will um, the curse of Tiferi as an either being stolen from or will be um, stealing from others that can also be released on on people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because yes, of having of being always being a victim, of being a person of being a victim of of yeah, that will fall under sickness. That will fall under malfunctions and dysfunctions. Yes, yes, all those other ones. The cause of false accusations, yes, or miscarriages, um, yes, of the curse of being branded, evil brandings, yeah, or just evil markings, and that so that can come under verdicts of hell, or even edicts of hell, yes. The curse of always being trafficked, as a, yes, being trafficked for evil purposes, whether it is sold through um, the soul or the spirit, but always being trafficked to other realms or to be used for other works. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. So we've said evil timelines to be removed. Evil, yeah, we've mentioned that one. Yes, yes. Even the curse of... Um, Um, division, you find that that instead of the person bringing peace in the family or righteousness, establishing righteousness in the family, they was bringing division, you know, causing problems or, or the curse of being a burden on others instead of being the person that lifts others up, the, um, they, they are a burden, you know, they, yes, they are not... Um, that also comes under uselessness. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. The curse of debt, yes, and other heavy burdens that is put under the never rising up, always bent over with heavy burdens. Yes, the curse of debt. The curse of always losing things, losses, always losing things, one way or the other, always having losses. Yeah, so that would, so always looking things that would include the holes in the pockets. Yeah. Wow. Okay, the curse of allergies, infirmities, asthma, the curse of addiction. Yeah, um, unhealthy addictions. You know, everybody's addiction to food, to coffee. To um, think, I'm just I'm just giving an example to um to medications, to drugs, to different things. The curse of you know whether it's 
pornography or something unhealthy um with, or alcohol because of addiction it could be placed on that person you know yes the curse of said omish always been omitted and hard labor working like an elephant and eating like an ant that is not a portion or the curse of a devourer that is that seems to is like um you work so hard but then there's so many problems or issues that come and take that money things are always coming up it's like you never have any enough but no matter how much how hard the person works they are never having enough. The curse of a devourer. Yes, yes, Lord. The devourer that is released. Uh -huh. Evil eye. Mm -hmm. Also, that includes uh, money, money, um, monitoring spirits or creatures that are sent to monitor. Or the, that, yes, the, the person is made as a device for to be used, that are being used by the kingdom of darkness. Okay, the curse of illegitimacy. Or even the curse of um, sexual promiscuity. I've seen that, you know, put on um, people, release the curse. Or remember, the curses are due to, some of them are due to our actions or the actions of our family members or bloodlines. But also they can be released on someone through witchcraft, you know, rituals and sacrifices as in through, uh, perform um, on evil altars that can be released on that person. Oh, the curse of mediocrity, yeah, of terror and fear, yeah. The curse of terror and fear, yes. So, precious Lord, any more that you want us to, we're bringing? Yes, so, it's not limited. So, Lord Jesus Christ, you took all our curses. So go into all of, of creation, including all the realms, timelines, ages, and dimensions that have every curse in, invested in them. The curses, the verdicts of hell, the edicts of hell, yes, invested in them, or other frequencies from kingdom of darkness, Lord, that are releasing curses, hardships, you know, cudgels, sufferings on us, on this, our first bond, on all of us here. Yes. So the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the planets, and all the elements of creation that have been brought into this throne room. Yes, Lord, remove all of, we are asking that those, yes, the curses that are in them be removed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yes, you, the word, the living word, shine your light in them and remove them. Yes, be removed. Yes, and brought under the foot of the cross. Brought to the foot of the cross. Here. So, whether, wherever the curses are located, even the ones that are being projected from hell, from the earth, from underneath the earth, from um, the waters underneath the waters, all of creation, wherever those frequencies are being released, yes, including their cords, their links, their ties, yes, Lord, and all their matrices, however they exist, and associations, we are calling for them to be brought in and put at the cross. Yes. So the covenants that allowed them to exist have been destroyed. Mm -hmm. The cross is bearing witness. The covenants, the agreements, the trades, the transactions that allowed their existence, the dedications, the evil dedications that allowed, yes, that created them and allowed the existence, including the rituals and the sacrifices performed, we are all destroyed. The cross is bearing witness. And it is also ended in the records. And the blood of Jesus Christ is also bearing witness. So, 
Now we bring Yes, the blood of Jesus Christ, the, the blood of the everlasting covenant. And I request that, O oh Lord, that the blood be poured over these curses. This verdicts of hell, this edicts of hell, the witchcrafts and the divinations. Yes, Lord. Have you, and just, yes, Lord Jesus Christ, pour the blood upon, yet pour the blood upon this sacrifice, upon this curses, all that have been laid at the at the foot of your cross. Pour your blood upon them. Mm -hmm. For the sacrifice of the Son of God is more than enough. And we bring Jesus Christ that was cursed for us against all of these curses that have been put at the foot of the cross. All of these curses that over the generations have plagued us and our bloodlines. All of these curses. All of this um, spells and hexes, the witchcrafts and divinations, all of these rituals and sacrifices, this verdicts and edicts of hell that have plagued our plagued us, and yes, for generations, including the ones that were transferred, whether it, it was transferred to us as we moved from place to place. Mm -hmm. or as associated with us ourselves with other people however it was transferred to us yes with all their matrices oh lord and associations thank you holy spirit written spoken or unspoken Mighty God, they are all on this. So we bring the cursed Jesus Christ. Mm. To, yes, superimposed over these curses. The precious blood of Jesus Christ poured upon these curses. The blood sacrifice made for us once and for all. The Lamb of God that was slain for us. Yes. The, the sacrifice that he made is more than sufficient. Yes. To silence all the frequencies being released from these curses. Yes, Lord. It supersedes. That no greater sacrifice can be made to redeem us except the sacrifice of the Lamb of God, according to the tenets of your eternal laws. Yes. So we also bring the blood of Jesus Christ over all the yokes the chains, the shackles, the cords, the cordials, yes, all of the tentacles of these curses, however far rich they have gone or they, or they are, mighty God. How, no matter how, wherever they have reached, we bring the blood of Jesus Christ, the sacrifice of the Son of God once and for all for us. Upon them to for their utter destruction. Yes, it is for freedom that Christ has made us free.
I call for the we call for the full release of the full release an expression practically in all realms, <clears throat> timelines, ages, and dimensions in all of creations, in all of creation, in all our archive, our realms, and our lives, in the whole earth, Lord, underneath the earth, okay, in all of creation. Yes, Lord. They full release the permanent yes thank you holy spirit total and complete full release and expression practically of the power and the overflowing power and life of the blood of jesus christ in us yes lord in us in us in us And for us and through us. So that just like Jesus achieves your purpose. The purpose you have for him. In the earth. We too will achieve it, the purpose you have for us in the earth. To the honor and glory of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now King Jesus, our royal high priest. Take all of the records of these <clears throat> curses, stamp them with your precious blood and nail to the cross, already destroying them forever and ever. They shall, including the rituals and the sacrifice, they shall have no impact on us or anyone else in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, we call for all the evil altars. Yes. King Jesus identified all the evil altars with the coordinates, the evil altars, where these curses, rituals, and sacrifices, yes, were made. All the evil altars and structures of darkness that have been set up. Mm -hmm. All the gates and pathways across all realms of, of creation. Because every realm, timeline, age, and dimension, we ask that, yes, Lord, that Lord should you identify their coordinates. Including their metrics agreements, and their synergies, all the way to the primary or the main altar of evil that linked them all up, yes. We request that the blood of Job be sprinkled upon all of these altars and that Almighty God, you will release your fire, your brimstones, yes, I'm making your wind, your tsunamis of living water, your mm -hmm, that you will release from your arsenals of of, wep, of yes, of weapons, all the yes, weapons of order destruction, and make an order destruction of them in their place that you take the cross of Jesus Christ. In those places, Lord. And by the blood of Jesus Christ, that those places be deeded to the um to the kingdom of God. 
for redemptive purposes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Yes, um, that was part of the decree that was issued in the last session. They were also called in as part of the defendants. Okay, thank you, Lord. Wow. Okay. Um, Pramud, the Lord is saying there is a prayer he's putting on in your heart about the altars. You should go ahead and pray it, release it. Father God, you said in Jeremiah, see, I have this day set up over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. And Lord, you gave your anointing and blessing over Gideon and we asked him to destroy the altar. Father God, we ask of you that you sever all the ungodly altars in all age, timeline, will and dimensions, bearing our name, image and likeness where our names are written or where we have and our ancestors have done. We will worship sacrifices. Lord, we ask of you that you sever it completely and totally. Release your severe and mighty sword, O God, severing all the altars in the water kingdom, working against us, speaking against us, Abba Father, we also ask of you to release the fire of God and the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach, silencing all the curses which has come because of all the work we and our ancestors have done over the land. We plead your blood over the land, O God, silencing the curses which has come upon the earth and the land where we live where our ancestry belongs, we ask of the blood to be applied there, destroying all the effects and the powers, the darkness, the curses, the altars of God, sever them. Abba Father, we request of you that you redeem the sun, moon, stars and constellations and all creation, destroying the powers of darkness. And Lord, we speak to all these ungodly altars, as you have said in Jeremiah 10, 11. Thus you said, say to them, gods that have not made the heavens and earth shall perish from the earth and under this heavens. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you. We receive our freedom from all this, from all the curses, and we receive the redemption of of creation on yes. In our realms, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oof, okay. So, what is the next thing you want us to do? Dedication. Oh, okay. Dedication. Yeah. Thank you, Lord.
Your Honor, mighty God, we want um we bring the dedication of the Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. From according to um Did I put it again? Sorry, hold on a second. Let me get it. Yes, according to Luke chapter two, verse twenty-one to twenty-two, he was dedicated on the earth day when he was circumcised. The first, yes, he was brought into the temple for dedica dedication unto the Lord, according to the Lord of the Lord, in Exodus thirteen, verse twelve to thirteen, and Leviticus twelve, verse six. Yes, he said that anything that opens the womb must be dedicated to you. And we have done the repentance, yes, for our families and our bloodlines for not dedicating their firstborns to you. Yes, Lord. So now go ahead, um, people of God, and mention your name and the names of the people you brought again. We're bringing them up. He said, I'm releasing myself and these people on that um, to be totally dedicated to the Almighty God. Go ahead and release the names yourself and the people you brought in for dedication. Yes. Yes, we bring, yes, Lord, we bring all, we bring ourselves and all of the first bonds that we have here and all of the, even the ones that are rescued, oh Lord, and being brought here. We bring our spirit, soul, and body, our heart and our mind. We bring every component of our presence. We bring our archive. We bring everything that is us and represents us, all that you have made us to be. We bring under and into the dedication of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the firstborn. Yes, as firstborn unto you. Yes, Lord. According to Luke chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. Exodus chapter 13, verse 12 to 13. And Leviticus chapter 12, verse 6. Yes. We do this dedication in um, with our names, with our likenesses, and with our images, for we have been made in the likeness and image of God. And we've been named, given a name by you, Almighty God. Yes, even before you send us into, the, into our mother's womb, you already named us. Yes, yes, Lord. So we declare by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, by him, him by Jesus Christ himself as the firstborn dedicated to you. They get to you as firstborn, yes, through his circumcision, through the presentation in the temple, uh, according to the laws. Mm -hmm. And he himself is also the Lamb of God that is used to redeem us, as uh, yes, redeem us from the kingdom and dedicated to you completely. So we declare that we and all our people with us and all of these people here that you have brought in, yes, we declare that we are yours. We are dedicated to you. 
spirit, soul, and body, heart and mind, in in name, in likeness, and in an image across every timeline, age, realm, and dimension, past, present, and future to infinity, and from the beginning across to eternity, throughout infinity of infinities and eternities of eternities, and beyond. And we declare that the dedication of Jesus Christ is more than sufficient for us. Yes, we have been circumcised with your own hands, not with the hands of man, through the circumcision of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. And we are being presented to you officially and let it be stamped with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and, and um, entered into records that from this day onwards, throughout infinity of infinities and eternities of eternities, we are totally and completely and permanently dedicated to you Almighty God. As your own, as your children, as your servants, your willing servants. Yes, Lord. Ambassadors sent into the earth for redemptive purposes. To serve, to fulfill the purposes which you have given and endowed to us even before you put us in our mother's wombs. We, yes, we call for this dedication to be sealed with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, with the Spirit of God, with your word, and with your name. For you have surnamed us as our Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So because by the dedication of, but yes, because we have been brought under the dedication and in, under and into the dedication of Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, thank you, Lord. We bring our, I, yes, all of us again, under the dedication of Jesus Christ on the cross, the altar of the cross, through his death on the cross. His burial in the womb, in the tomb, and his resurrection. We bring us, Lord, according to Romans chapter 6. And we, yes, we bring, uh, we bring us into his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Therefore, Anywhere else, any dedication to any evil dedication is speaking over our life. Lord, from this moment onward, it's permanently, totally and completely terminated. Yes. From the kingdom of darkness, it is terminated. From our own ends into the, it is all terminated. Yes. Complete separation. Never to be put back together. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and all power sources to yes to that dedication, yes, be completely and totally destroyed and silenced forever by the dedication of the Son of God, his death, his his death, his burial, and his resurrection. <clears throat> oh, okay. And I call I call forth the full release and expression practically across every timeline, age, realm, and dimension, past, present, and future to infinity, and from the beginning across to eternity, throughout all infinities of infinities and eternities of eternities and beyond. Yes, the power, the resurrection, the resurrection power of Christ in us, on us, for us, to the, the resurrection power and life of Christ in us and for us and through us, yes, as dedicated beings unto the almighty God 
through, by the dedication of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we, we sealed this. Yes, we require that it be sealed, stamped with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, nailed to the, um, entered into red cords, and mm -hmm, sealed with the precious blood, with, the, with your spirit, with your word, and with your name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. In response to this dedication, according to Isaiah 44, Forty-four verse four, we declare. Forty-four verse um, five, we declare, we are the Lord's. We belong to the Lord God Almighty alone. With our own mouth we say, and people of God, please say it wherever you are. We and our all the people with and our people, all the firstborn, all these people here. I and all my people. I and you can mention the names. We. We are the Lord's. We belong to the Lord from none onwards. Yes, we declare with our mouth. We write it with our hands. We call ourselves by the name that we belong to the Lord God Almighty. Him and Him alone forever and ever. Across every timeline, age, realm, and dimension, past, present, and to infinity, and from the beginning across to eternity, throughout all infinities of infinities and eternities of eternities, and beyond, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, to seal this dedication, yes, pour out your spirit mightily upon us, the spirit of adoption that Christ, Abba Father, that bears witness that we, we belong to you. A fresh baptism of the spirit of God, a fresh infilling of the spirit of God. Let the fountain of the deep break open and Yes, and pour out your spirit upon us mightily. Sealed with the Holy Spirit forever and ever and ever. For that the Spirit of God will be with us forever. The same way that she, the Spirit of God descended upon Jesus and remained with him. The same way, yes, we bring ourselves under uh, um, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that you pour out your spirit mightily upon us. For we are your children, your sons and your daughters, in whom you are well pleased, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, can we take a pause here, Lord, and step out for a few minutes? Okay, thank you. So we're going to take a pause. Um, so we're going to do the release the blessings. Okay. So do some of you have um, was it some of you have um, the blessings to release? Um, I don't want to be the only one to release the blessings. So all of us, are, um, you know, but don't release the same thing that others are releasing. Okay. So we are going to take turns and release the blessings. Upon the, Yes. Okay, we're going to do that. Yes, um, Pramod, do you want to say something before we start? We go back in. Okay. So who are the... Um, please, um, when, it take, when you, can, you raise your hand so that we can release the blessings, it's important, okay, that we release the blessings. There are blessings that are, you know, you know which one that is really pertaining to you. So I'm going to do the general one. I'm going to start with the general ones, but release um, specific, you know, go into, I, I will not cover all of them. So I'm going to just do a few of them. Deuteronomy 28, I'm going to do um, um, the blessing of Abraham, the Deuteronomy 28, and the spiritual blessing. 
that we have in Christ, that is those that only three I'm going to do. And then you do the rest, okay? Specific ones, as the Holy Spirit directs us, we will do it, okay? Once, once you have done the general one, I will do about raising the altar. Do you want to raise the we altars now? The, no, you can do the general. Uh, okay, no. then I'll do the... Uh, no, 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 no. Raise, raise the, the altar because we need to have raise the altars because we need to have the blessings now invested, released on the altars and the yes, um yes, the cosmos yes, and all that. Yes. Okay. So when we go in, okay. you will start by yeah. Uh, you, yeah, you raise the altars, okay? Okay. Okay. So Father, yes, Almighty God, we thank you and we ask for uh, uh, the permission to step back in into your throne room. Okay, um, Pramod, go ahead and raise the altars, then we're going to the blessings. Father God, as we have already dealt with the ungodly altars in us and around us, Lord, we raise godly altars. Lord, you have given this authority and you have made it happen through Noah, through Abraham, and through many others, oh God, that you have raised godly altars. And we, your people, are also godly altars, according to your verse in First Peter, second chapter. You also, as living stones, are being built up as spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up the spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. And also, we read Revelations chapter 5, verse 9. And they sang a new song saying, you are worthy to take the scroll and to open the seals for you are slain and you and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nations and have made us kings and priests to our God and we shall reign on the earth. Lord, we ask that you plant the cross of Christ because that is the highest altar and we Request you to plant it over us, over our families, and over all the ungodly altars that today we have broke. You have helped us to break. And let this cross of Christ speak on behalf of us. Lord, appoint your ministering, Holy Spirit, your ministering angels to this, your assistant angels, the, the angel, supervisory angels, and let your angels be ascending and descending to this place. And all these altars be connected with the altar in heaven, O oh God. And as we bring thanksgiving and sacrifices unto you, let this praise and sacrifices and thanksgiving and prayers and inter intercessions, O oh God, be pleasing to you and be collected in your golden bowl in heaven. And Lord, let it be poured out back again for blessings to all the nations, not only us, O oh God, and our families, but also for all the nations. Lord, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we have prayed. Amen. 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 And amen. And amen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Before the blessings, Lord, um, Lord Jesus, yes, dip your hand, your fingers in your blood and sprinkle over us. We call for the blood of sprinkling to be poured, to be sprinkled over us, the blood of the everlasting covenant. Yes, according to Exodus chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 22 to 24, and Psalm 105, verse 36 to 38. So as this blood is being sprinkled upon us, we decree and declare that we are being cleansed and sanctified, consecrated unto you, Almighty God. We decree and declare that we have been marked as your own forever permanently totally marked for you uh, across every timeline age realm and dimension oh lord past present and future infinity from the beginning 
across eternity, throughout all infinity of infinity, the of eternities and beyond. We decree and declare that uh, we have been made, we are free, permanently free from every bondage, according to Exodus chapter 11, verse 1. We decree and declare that we are permanently exempted from all the woes and evils of the world. Yes, Lord. We decree and declare that, yes, that this, this blood of sprinkling nullifies the powers of the enemies and forces them to free and bow before us. Everywhere we go, Yes, because of this blood of sprinkling, they bow before us. According to Exodus chapter 11, verse 8, we decree and declare that this blood of sprinkling now destroys and nullifies all divinations, witchcraft, curses, rituals, and sacrifices on all evil altars. Yes, which was where we started from, Lord. We decree and declare that by this blood of sprinkling, that you, yes, you Almighty God will execute judgment on all the gods of the land. With their generals, their commanders, their and their armies, in all the realms, timeline, ages, and, and yes, and dimensions, O oh Lord. According to Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. We decree, no, yes, we decree and declare that as this blood of Jesus has been sprinkled on us, oh Lord, yes, the life and power from that blood is releasing healing and is all around healing and restoration of all that we lost. Whether it is property, whether it is health, whether it is finances, what our treasures, everything that we lost in the body parts, you know, everything, time lost, or yes, restoration. Yes, according to Joel chapter 2, verse 25, and down one, and Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11 and 12. And Psalm 105, verse 37. Total healing, soundness, and wholeness. Is related. We decree and declare that this problem has been sprinkled upon us. Yes. Yes. Favor is being released for us now to plunder our enemies. And we call for our plundering of our enemies. To plot, yes. You have your angels sent out, oh Lord. Send them by your favor upon us. Plunder them completely and deliver the spoils to us. Swift recovery. Swift um, delivery. Swift Restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as this blood of blood of Jesus was sprinkled upon us, we we decree and declare the release of the manifest power of God in us, on us, for us, all around us, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That everyone that knows us, whether man and um, whether man or spirits, all of creation would see the extent you're willing to go to display your your power, your love for us by the manif by your manifest power in my name of Jesus Christ. Yes, by this manifest power of the Lord. We decree and declare that everyone occupying our positions, occupying our seats, yes, Lord, that you remove them by your power and put us in. According to Ezekiel, where he said that you would overturn and overturn the mountains until he's, who's, yes, we have come. We have risen up. We take our position. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, as this blood of Jesus has been spoken upon us, we decree and declare that we decree and declare 
curses from the roots of anything that mocks you, Almighty God, in our lives or mocks us as your children or servants of the Almighty God. Yes, for the blood of sprinkling is the speaking blood. It's because it's from this moment, from its roots. Mm -hmm. it's the same way that according to Mark chapter 11, verse 12 to 14, and by within 24 hours, it was evident that the tree that mocked Jesus was cursed. The same way, oh Lord, that within the next 24 hours, according to the time of man, the time of life, we would start seeing the manifestation of these things that mock you in our life, completely cursed, withered, and thrown down. Never to rise up ever again against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as this blood is being sprinkled upon us, oh Lord, all the, yes, the access points that the enemies had before, we call for the blood to be used to, we call for those access points to be shut and the blood be, yes, be put on those, on the, um, be shot be, and locked, and the blood, uh, you know, put on them, yes, maybe with the fire of the Spirit of God and the light of your word, never to be opened, cannot be accessed, cannot be opened, for the door you shut, no one can open, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen, and amen, and amen, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. So we now release the blessings. Yes, we release the blessing of Abraham. According to Colossians, um, Galatians chapter 3, he said Jesus became a curse for us, 13 and 14, that we, through Yes, for curses, amen, and hang it on the truth that we would receive the blessing of Abraham. So, Lord, and you said to Abraham that in him shall all the, the whole nations of the earth be blessed. That in blessing, therefore, in blessing, you, Almighty God, will bless us. In multiplying, you will multiply us. And you will bless those that bless us and curse those that curse us. Yes, Lord. And you will be our shield. You are our shield and exceeding great reward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And according to Deuteronomy 28, oh, okay. And he said, the man Abraham was so prosperous. So yes, we release the blessing of prosperity that will have so much resources to do your work, to do the, yes, to steward those resources well, to distribute them according to how you direct us. Yes, Lord, for us, for our families, for our bloodlines, for everywhere you have called us to, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as the blessings are being re released, let them also be everywhere there have been curses, we, we are replacing these blessings let them be imputed in those places, including the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the planets, and all the elements of creation. Yes, Lord. Yes, and let's, even on the rocks, for you said the rocks shall praise you. Yes, the mountains, on top of the mountains, underneath the mountains, um, in the earth, underneath the earth, in the trees, underneath the trees, in the waters, underneath the waters, across all realms of all realms, timeline, age, ages, and dimensions. Yes. Let it be impaired in them and sealed with your name, with your blood, with the words of we as this word of blessing we release in, and with the Holy Spirit. Unto full manifestation in our lives and in all the realms of creation. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
And then uh, according to Deuteronomy 28, he said that the Lord, the Lord our God shall set us high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon us and overtake us. Blessed shall we be in the city. No. Okay, thank you for that correction, Holy Spirit. Blessed are we in the city, and blessed are we in the in the count country. Blessed are we, blessed is the fruit of our body, the produce of our ground, and the increase of our herb herds, the increase of our cattle and the offspring of our flocks. Blessed is our basket and our knitting bowl. Blessed are we when we come in, and blessed are we when we go out. The Lord shall cause our enemies who rise against us to be defeated before our face. They shall come out against us one way and flee before us seven ways. The Lord shall open, and now, oh my God, open, shall command the blessing on us in our storehouses. Yes, the Lord command your blessing upon us in our storehouses and in all to which we set our hand. And bless us in the land, in the land where you have, that you have given to us. The Lord establish us as a holy people to, your, to himself. We plan things for establish us as a holy people to yourself. Just as you have sworn to us, since we keep the commandments of the Lord our God and walk in his ways. The Lord shall bless us so much that all peoples of the earth shall see that we are called by the name of the Lord. And, that, and they shall be afraid of us. The Lord shall grant us plenty of goods in the fruit of our body, in the image of our livestock, and in the produce of our ground, in the land, in this, in the land which the Lord has uh, sworn to give to us. Now, Lord, open to us your good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to our land in its season and to bless all the works of our hands. Yes. We shall lend to many nations and shall not borrow. We declare to be so, O oh Lord. The Lord shall make us the head and not the tail. We shall be above only, never beneath. Since we heed the commandments of the Lord our God, which He commands us, and are careful to observe them, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. And according to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. You have blessed us with every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. We call forth all, we call for the full, we call forth the full and um, the full release and expression practically of all the blessings you've blessed us with in Christ Jesus. Before the full release manifestation in our lives in in the in in, in earth across every realm, timeline, age, and dimension, past, present, and future infinity, and from the infinite, and from the being across eternities, throughout all infinities of infinities and, and eternities of eternities and beyond, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Okay, um, Pramut, go ahead. Lord, be. Decree and declare according to Ephesians 1, 17 to 23. Lord, we come before you in prayer and we ask of you, God, that you give us, you have given us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of Christ, the eyes of our understanding, being enlightened that you would give what is hope of your calling and what are the riches of glory of your inheritance in saints, to know the exceeding greatness of your power to us who believe according to the working of of your mighty power, which you has given us, to, you have given to Jesus Christ when you raised him from the dead and set him at your own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principalities and power, might and dominion, every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come and has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the to the body of Christ and the fullness of him who fills us all in all. Amen. According to Psalm 23, Lord, you are our shepherd. We shall not want. You make us to lie down in green pastures. You lead us beside the still waters. You restore our soul. 
you lead us in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Yeah, though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, we will know, we will not fear of the evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our head with oil. Our cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Who has another um, blessing they want to release? Okay, Joy, go ahead. Okay. I will release the following blessings. They're just in words over us. Father, in Jesus' name, I decree and declare the following blessings over us. We are blessed to achieve international prominences. We are blessed in the city, blessed in the fields. We are blessed to achieve fruitfulness in all areas of our lives. We are blessed in daily provisions, blessed in daily activities, blessed with victory, a blessing as an entrepreneur. So we are blessed entrepreneurs, blessed socially. We are blessed economically. We are blessed corporally, blessed commercially, blessed relationally, blessed interpersonally. We are blessed psychologically, blessed biochemically, blessed neurologically, blessed systematically, blessed molecularly, blessed cellularly, blessed skeletally, blessed anatomically. We are also blessed muscularly, blessed hormonally, blessed genetically, a blessing of epidermally. Blessed nutritionally, blessed globally, blessed educationally. We are blessed technologically. I also, Father, release the blessing of work opportunities, advancements, races and bonuses, wisdom and knowledge, understanding law, assets, investment strategies, benefit and promotions, customer and clients vision and dreams, multi-trillionaire dollar idea, invention and strategies, writing abilities, theological insights, innovative goods and world-class services, sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritances, interests and dividends, multiple streams of income, profits and bonuses, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, unexpected financial blessings, wealth transfers, royalties, real estate, secret riches and hidden treasures, favor with creditors, increased income, bills paid, debts canceled, supernatural increase in supply, synergistic relationship, divine health, divine networks, quantum progress, accelerated growth and development, new ways of living, new ways to work, strategic positioning, unexpected gifts, wonderful surprises, automobiles, debt-free living, self-sustaining cash flow, and money management skills, time management skills, mind management skills, leadership skills, effective communication skills, negotiation skills, crisis management skills, change management skills, resource management skills, and tribalizing skills. Kingdom millionaire mindset. I decree and declare that we are underwriters of kingdom initiatives, enterprising activities and programs. And we are kingdom trillionaires. We do not only make trillions, but we also give trillions to worthy kingdom causes and community enrichments. I decree and declare these blessings over us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. 
Ebi and then um, Naomi. Ebi first. Praise the Lord. That was very comprehensive, but I will just mention one or two. What, you know, oh, thank you, Jesus. Is that I release the blessing of walking in God's Kairos time. In, to walk in, to be at the right place at the right time. I release the blessings of open doors, Isaiah 22, 22, Revelations 3, 7 to 8, Isaiah 45, 1. I release the blessing of walking with God intimately like Enoch walked. I release the blessings of peace, stability, and establishment, John 14, 27. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release these blessings upon us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay, um, Naomi, but make sure that you are not releasing the same thing that others have already done, okay? Let the do not have repetitive. So go ahead. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I release the blessings of open doors to our blind lines from this generation, generations to come. I release the blessings of progress and greatness. I release the blessings of health and wellness. I release the blessings of wealth and good lifestyle. I release the blessings of happiness and of peace. I release the blessings of peace of mind from this generation to generations to come. I release the blessings of unity in our families, the blessings of progress, the blessings of good life, full, full of God's blessings and glory. I release the blessings <clears throat> of visible and invisible blessings, the blessings of sober mind. In Psalms 115, verse 16, O Lord, your word says, the heavens, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to us. Lord, we thank you even for those blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, Lauren. Um, Pramut, you will do you will do the ending part as a, to cover the blessing. <laughs> yes, Lauren, go ahead. Okay. And thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you for all the blessings and decrees released upon us and our families today. Lord, I thank you that you will open up the pipeline of prosperity into our lives. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We shall not have financial failures. We lose the spirit of prosperity upon our lives. Anoint us with the power to prosper in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Give us breakthroughs of blessings in spiritual, financial, marital, and business, and our health in Jesus' name. We declare super abundance in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Perfect the control of our tongues in, in the name of Jesus. Give us grace to express your love to the needy. Thank you, Lord. Command every contrary tree growing in our lives be uprooted and thrown in the fire. Abundant rain, rain of abundant blessings we receive, we decree upon our lives and families. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the great blessings released upon us today. We Receive all the great blessings released from the north, south, east and west. Let all our blessings be released and come unto us, come into our bank accounts, come into our lives. We decree stolen blessings shall be restored sevenfold in the name of Jesus. We decree every evil attachment to our place of birth be disrupted and cancelled and divorced in the name of Jesus. We command every agent acting against our breakthroughs be permanently paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Command receive an, we receive anointing for supernatural breakthroughs in all our endeavors that we undertake in the name of Jesus. Amen. We receive the anointing and we decree the anointing of beautiful feet and prospering hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. Okay. Um, Sharon, and then Abby, and then Teresa. Go ahead. We decree that the Spirit of the Lord 
rest upon us the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Our children will recognize and honor among nations. Everyone will realize that we are blessed by the Lord. I release Isaiah 45, 1. You go before us and make the crooked places straight. We are blessed for we have you have break in pieces the gate of brass and cut asunder the bars of iron. We are blessed with the treasures of darkness and in secret and hidden riches in secret places. We are also blessed with the transfer of wealth. Thank you for that, Epi. I decree the blessings of long life of days long and length of days according to Deuteronomy 34. It says Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were not weak, nor his strength gone. I decree that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I, I decree in, a, in, a, in addition to that, O oh Lord, he said in um, Psalm, that chapter, um, uh, Psalm 91, at the end, he said that you will satisfy us with long, healthy, and prosperous and purpose of your life. Yes, I decree that we have and enjoy your life in abundance to the full till it overflows, long, healthy, prosperous, and purpose fulfilled life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Go ahead, um, Teresa. I decree and declare that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds. And that when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Yes. Um, and? I decree and declare, even this morning, Lord God, your word tells us in... Um, your word tells us, O oh God, that you will pour out in Joel chapter 2, that you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and that your sons and daughters will prophesy, and that, O oh God, the, young, the old men shall dream dreams, the young men shall see vision, and that even our maid servants and the, the male and the female servants, they shall prophesy. I decree spiritual blessing upon us even this day in the name of Jesus. I decree that, oh God, the blessing of spiritual sight, the blessing of um, spiritual hearing, that our spiritual ears are open, our spiritual eyes are open, that, oh God, that our, our, our minds are, are connected to you, the blessing of spiritual connection, the ability to see into the spirit realm, into the supernatural, the ability to experience and manifest the, the supernatural, the blessings, O oh God, of spiritual gifts, O oh God, be made manifest in our life. We decree it and we declare it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Anyone else before Pramud releases the final blessings on us? Okay. Pramud, go ahead and release the Father's blessings on us. Father God, we all who have gathered here, we receive your blessings, O God. We come to your throne, Father God, to ask you for a blessing. We need you to release unto us adulthood so that we can fulfill the course prepared for us before the foundation of the world was made, laid. We realize that we need a revelation concerning who we are. For all of us as an individual, who I am. We found ourselves looking to others to tell us who we are, or rather for an individual, who I am, but have found and no one who understands our dilemma. 
we have needed someone to tell us what we are supposed to do with the life that you have given to us. Everyone tells us, I will figure it out in my own time. But Lord, we look unto you. Do not want to release at the end of my life. I want to realize it today, O oh God. And I want to look unto you that you will give us the necessary wisdom and understanding that we have wasted our life doing the wrong things. But Lord, from now further more, we will not waste our time and life. Father God, we receive. Father God, we have never had any one tell us that they were proud of us. The disciples heard you say that Jesus, you, Jesus was your beloved son and that you were proud of him. Jesus said that we should call no one on earth but Father because the Heavenly Father will be our Papa now. We want you to know you as Papa, as our Abba Father and to know your voice when you call us. We want to sit in your lap, hurt your, hear your heartbeats and lay our hands on you. And when we lie down on your chest to God, we receive your comfort. We want to be excited knowing that you really want to spend time with us. Papa God, we want to become as a child, allowing you to change our heart. Teach us to say what you want us to say and to do what you show us to do because we really want to be like you, Papa. Because you have created us in your own image and likeness and Jesus is our firstborn and behind him we are your first point, O oh God. Blessing of Papa God. We bless you. I bless you, my child, to live long and to be full of joy. I bless you in your walk and for you know that I will always be here to guide and comfort you on your journey. Lord, we also, are, uh, I bless you with open heavens so that you will receive your blessings and you will see dreams and visions. I bless you to be fruitful and to multiply in everything you do and to bring life to those around you and to those that you love. I call you into adulthood and unlock your destiny now to run your race. Never feel that you are alone or fear that you will fall. You will fail me. I will always be here to cheer you up. For I bless your labor, the work of your hands and the sweat of your devotion as you fulfill what I have sent you to do. May your life always reflect that my glory is over you and around you. As, I, as it shines forth to all who encounter you. Remember you are royalty. Sent from heaven to establish a kingdom that is worthy of your king, Jehoshua Hamashiach. I love you and I am very proud of you. You are precious in my eyes. I want you to know that I trust you to fulfill your destiny with love and blessings. Papa God. In Yahushua's name, Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Yes. Thank you, mighty God, for sealing these blessings for us, in us, oh Lord. And yes, sealing them across every timeline, age, realm, dimension, past, present, and future to infinity. And from the beginning across eternity, that all infinities of infinity, eternities of eternities, they cannot be revoked. Yes, they cannot be reversed. And, the, and these blessings make us rich only and add no sorrow. For the blessing of the Lord makes rich only and adds no sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And they cannot be set aside. They cannot be covered. No, Almighty God. And thank you that they have been, they have been sent out into all the earth, into all of creation, all the into the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the planets, and all the elements of creation, O oh Lord. And have been yes, carried out, O oh Lord by your angels thank you for dispatching your angels oh lord to bring this yes to follow us and bring this ma uh, this blessings into manifest in our lives lord now and thank you for giving us even swift testimonies to testify of what all that you have accomplished for us in this session we thank you we receive them um, we 
and we bless your holy name and expect, O oh Lord, that you would do more exceedingly above and beyond all that we have decreed, declared or asked of you or even imagined according to your power, your spirit, your spirit at work in us, for us and through us in Jesus mighty name. We bless you, Father. Hallelujah to your name in Jesus name. Amen. So the Lord is in that we should take communion here in the throne. We should take communion. Um, Stella, can you do the bread for us? And um, blessing, will you be able to do the cup for us? Okay. Blessing? We should be able to do the cup for us. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. Then, um, Pramud, you can close us out. Father, we just thank you right now for the body of Christ, of which we are members. We thank you because we know, the Lord God Almighty, that that body was broken for our iniquities. It was broken for our transgressions. That the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. We thank you because we know that by his stripes we are healed. We thank you because everything that we place before you today will serve as symbols of that body. Even as we break bread, we break it in remembrance of the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we make a declaration across every time and realm that Jesus is indeed Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, I come boldly before your throne. Hang on a second, a blessing. Yes. Sorry, I forgot to mention. So for the cup, um, you can leave some of what you have. You know, don't finish it. So you're gonna sprinkle it seven times wherever you are, you know, to especially your home <laughs> to fully and as I sprinkle, I'm activating the blessings of the uh, of the blood of sprinkling as we have decreed and declared. I'm activating in my home, in my life, in agreement with all that has been decreed and declared, okay? So um, it's important that we do that, okay? You can, if you have pictures of your children and all that, you can sprinkle the blood, um, you can use their pictures and all their names. You just write their names on a paper and all that and sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ upon them you know if you want to go that route as well as a point of contact releasing the blood the, the power the um activating the the benefits or the blessings of the blood of sprinkling upon them you've got to do that seven times that is the instruction that god gave, um, gave gave in the bible you know to do it seven times that shows um the completeness or the fullness of the covenants you know being activated in that person's life okay and release and you know come in agreement with the blessings that have been that you know come with the blood of sprinkling okay so go ahead and blessings sorry about that i gotta i had to include that father i come boldly before your throne putting you in remembrance of the covenant of life that i have with you through the broken body and the shed blood of the lamb of god jesus christ I declare that this cup of the covenant is holy. I <clears throat> have been crucified with Christ. We have been crucified with Christ. The life that I know that we now live, I live by faith in the Son of God. I thank you for giving us the finest um, wine so that, Lord, we can partake of it. And as a covenant, we stand with your broken body and with your blood tonight, Father. And we declare that your divine virtue into our body, soul, and spirit. We receive the DNA of Jesus Christ encoded with the memory of glory from the Mount of Transfiguration. I have complete salvation and shalom through the life in your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for this covenant tonight, your blood. 
we drink healing to our body, soul, spirit, and mind in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen good. and amen. And before we partake, okay, mighty God, we thank you that as we, we have, um, Jesus said that when we eat his flesh and drink his blood, that we're made one with him, according to John chapter 6, verse 53 to 57, that we're made one with him. Therefore, we have eaten the bread, his flesh, and we're now about to drink his cup. And as we drink this, his blood, oh Lord, we receive the benefits, the blessings, oh Lord, the rights, the, the rights of firstborn, just like Jesus Christ, the grace, all that Jesus walked in, you know, the grace that was upon Jesus to function as your firstborn. We receive, we take it from this communion table. We receive it, oh Lord, and we walk in it. We receive it for ourselves and we receive it for all the people that, um, that are with us, Almighty God, that we have brought in with us, oh Lord. We receive, Almighty God, the blessings of the firstborn, mighty God, the grace of Jesus Christ that enabled him to walk in that, um, yes, as, as firstborn, and all the rights that he has and enjoyed, we receive now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Partake of the cup. Father, we thank you for the releasing of blessings of the firstborn over us. We ask you, God, that you, every word which has been spoken in this prayer call, be sealed for time and eternity. May all these words be recorded in the books of heaven. We are that the angel armies be released on our behalf so that we see the blessing of Lord. That makes us rich with every spiritual gift in heavenly places that is legally of us by the right of our eternal covenant with Almighty God. We seal this world in the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. We declare according to Isaiah 55, 11, that every word in agreement with the will of Father shall not return empty without accomplishing what he desires and without succeeding in the matter for which it was sent. We declare that the Holy Spirit's breath zua life is upon this prayer. We declare that the enemy shall not release against our life, our family, any curses, counter curses, strategies or retaliations against our health, marriage, children, grandchildren, finances, ministry, destiny or well-being. In Yahushua's name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Wow. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Everyone. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> As it said, Isaiah 60, blessing over us all. Thank you, blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, a quick one. Does anyone want to share anything that they saw or perceived while we we're going through all of this? Just quickly. Anyone? Or anything you can, you're sensing. There has to be some, there is some breakthrough we experienced there. Anyone? I just want to, <laughs> I think I should share this. Uh, I remember when I did the, the, the first part, I did the um, uh, blessings, you know, and then when I was done, somehow I forgot one, and that was the second one I did. That's a long uh, blessing of long life, uh, length of days. But I said, no, I wouldn't. I just said, I think it has been covered. I just said to myself, it is covered, you know, so I, 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 you know, just sat back in my chair and just, but it kept coming up. Length, you know, and I said, Lord, okay, I just speak it now, you know, without even saying it. I said, length of days, you know, I, I, upon everybody. But before I finish, you called me. You said, okay, Abby. So I opened my eyes. I said, ah, when did I raise my hands? You know, when? I, you know, how come? When did I raise my hands again? You know, and so, and I feel the Lord just said, because it's important that you do it. So that was, and, you know, that was how I did it, you know. So it was like, praise oh, God. God, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yes. Anyone else? Uh, Pramud, you had your hand raised up before, yes. I saw Paul's. Bows which were broken, but they are now mended. They are being made whole and they are filled, overflowing. 
Praise God. Wow. Father, we receive that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Anyone else? Anyone else? You know, yes. So this was not just for us. There were so many people in the throne room. There were others, you know, they were also rescued, you know. So we thank God for that. These are things that are really in the heart, in the hearts of God. Yes, Nana. Anyway, because it's coming, that is why I wanted to say it. I'm sitting, but it's still coming. Um, you know, Ezekiel 37. Mm -hmm. The dry bones, as you are releasing and praying, oh, I saw the grounds like a graveyard. And then um, before the end comes, I can see that uh, the bones, people are just rising out from that um, grave uh, yard. And uh, all of a sudden, they are panic and come run it's a a huge place but it's like uh the dead things are coming up from that field so that is what um, i don't God. know how it yes is. it's like um dead um dead dreams dead things that were all things that were stolen or lost even life yes. you know you know yes. like some, some people that were trafficked their souls or their spirit were trafficked yes. into all the realms and being used the they cannot yeah. live a normal life in the in the in the earth, but the Lord yeah. has rescued and the Lord has restored. Yes, yeah. thank you for that, Nana. Thank you for that. Okay, so thank you, everyone. I'm gonna be, you know, sending the link to have this uh, once the recording is available, mid later in the day, and all that. I'll get that done. So thank you so much. It has it's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful you know, opportunity and, you know, sessions. Each session is like, <laughs> it's amazing. I have never done dedication. Like, I didn't, no, 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 this is what I mean. This is where you should go. This is what you should do. This is the next thing I want done, you know, but I love it. I always enjoy, you know, hearing, hearing the Lord. And, all, and I always like the way he corrects. He say, no, 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 that's, what I, that's not what I said. I said this. <laughs> and then I said, okay, I correct myself, you know. Okay. But sometimes, to, you know, he would say something and I didn't hear, and I didn't hear, or I thought I heard this. They said, No, that's not how I said it. That's how I said it. But the Lord is so awesome and wonderful. Yes, Lauren, you wanted to share something? Lauren? Oh, yes, I want to thank all of you for praying for me, for the oh. operation, and for my healing. Thank you so much. I believe I'm completely healed. The doctor also yes. thinks so. <laughs> you know, people don't really understand that you had a, people don't really understand that you had a test conducted and the biopsy said you had cancerous cells, right? But when they went yes. in, it was all fluid because we prayed. Yes. The Lord Amen. changed that. So thank you. So this is awesome. Thank that is God thank at work. <laughs> Praise thank God. Thank Praise God. Praise, God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And thank, thank you, Lauren. Today. We are delighted, Lauren. We are delighted thank along with you, and we thank God for His grace and mercy upon you. Yes, we celebrate. We are really Lord. delighted to see. Yes, we celebrate it. Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! Wow! So thank you, everyone. Be on the lookout for your testimonies and share them, please. Remember, one of the commandments that the Lord gave to the children of Israel, His people, is to keep its testimonies. He said, we overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our own testimony. So it is important, even if it's just, you saw flicker of light, it is important that you testify. Don't wait. Oh, let me see the full thing. Oh, the other time I, I started to testify and then it was gone. That is the enemy. They want to steal it. Testify of it. Share it. It is important that you share it because when you start testifying, like um, um, Elijah told the man and the man said that he saw a hand. Like when you start that with that small hand, it will grow to become the fullness of what the Lord has already begun to do or wants to do in our lives. Okay. Even if you just tiny little bit testify of it. So thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Keep his testimonies. Be on the lookout for it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. It's still talking about transferred curses. 
been oh oh no 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 this, this was before sorry i scrolled up and then sorry i have i made a mess here sorry so thank you so much and look forward to now that you've done this you can't be you can't say anything negative against yourself your your children or your people <laughs> no matter what they are doing you can't say anything negative you can't you're not permitted to do you hear that you're not permitted to say any negative thing that is contrary because that is what the enemy will try to do if they cannot get them they, they know okay this has done so they will try to look for access again so they'll try to come to use you to do that to give them that access but oh this child is so troublesome that is a curse the child is not troublesome you know rather than release the curse no matter you get so angry that you tell the child you are a blessing you have no other choice than to be a blessing okay <laughs> or tell that person you're a blessing you have no other choice you can only be a blessing and the blessing of God makes which and adds no sorrow so you cannot add any sorrow here you cannot bring sorrow here because you're a blessing yes that is how i, I <laughs> that's how that's how i shout on my kids <laughs> Yes, but that is the word because you say you have whatsoever you say. Okay. Yes, and we are running. Yes. Um quickly, I just as you were, you know, encouraging us to, to speak. Um one thing that just kept you know, I try to, you know, keep quiet, but it's just so strong in my spirit is that we should, I just feel like the Lord is saying that we should. We should, you know, um, give communion to our firstborns. Those of us who have firstborn children, we should, you know, um, set a table of communion and give them communion. I, I don't know. So I, I'm just obeying what I'm I mean, hearing. if you are not taking communion with your family, you should every day. Not even just, yeah. you should every day, you know, or as often as possible, maybe once a week yeah. or twice a week. It is important. Yes, um, and you are right. It is important. You know, it is important. And uh, for the specific uh, instruction, maybe, um, you know, call your first bonds and, you know, specifically. Or you can write their names because some of them are adults and have their own families and they're not going to be, you know. So you write their names or get their pictures, put it before your communion. When you finish, you, you sprinkle the... the the crumb of the bread and pour the water upon them, or you sprinkle the also sprinkle the blood seven times upon them and release the blessings upon them. Okay. Because yes, you can only call and take communion if they are little children and they are close by. Uh, but if it's something that you can read them on the phone, yes, read them on the phone. Tell them to bring the communion. And you can take it on over the phone with them as well. But if they're not the type that's going to allow you to even look their way, how much we're telling them to, yes, you call them in by their names or by their picture and do that communion. Okay? Mm. Or whoever, even if all, all the other ones, all the other ones, you call them, keep calling them when you take communion. You call them. Mm. Okay? Sorry, I wanted to ask, is this the seven times only for a day or seven days? Sprinkle the no. bread. Anytime you're doing it is seven times that the Lord is in, according to the instructions that the okay. Lord did. You tell them, you tell them, dip your finger and sprinkle seven. You dip your finger. So sometimes it would be that you're dipping your finger seven times and sprinkling it. But I believe that I'm um, not just the legalistic, but that um the Holy Spirit will guide you. You know, you can dip and sprinkle and and sprinkle, you know. In um, when they were putting it on their doorstep, they would just dip it, they dip the high sop in the blood and just put. So I don't know how many times he didn't give them specific instructions on how that they should sprinkle it on their doorposts. He just told them where to put them. He didn't tell them how many times to sprinkle them. So, um, but usually it is seven. When you look at he said, he said, he said to be sprinkled seven times, you know. Yeah. So and you can spend it seven times and do it seven days, depending on how the Holy Spirit directs you. It's always important to follow his instructions. So deep and sprinkle, deep and sprinkle, can deep seven times and sprinkle seven times, or deep one time and sprinkle seven times, or how many times you deep and then you sprinkle. Okay. Can Remember I say something? Yes, go ahead. Okay. 
I just want to encourage us. Uh, every time we are doing uh, the prayers, uh, if you look or you read in the Bible, every time there, there was, there, there's, um, what am I uh, I'm trying to say about um, attach your prayers with an offering. Offer God some, like you're not buying God. You, you're not, uh, these things we are receiving freely, but just a heart of gratitude. Like attach the prayers with an offering and tell God, thank you for doing this. And offering doesn't have to be financially. There are so many ways you can give to God. So ask the Holy Spirit on what you can and yes, attach it. The offering will speak on your behalf also. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. You can also seal it. Like he Thank told you. us to redeem, to redeem with, so you can redeem with the blood. You can redeem, with, but also when you attach an offering to it, it's, um, it's an act of, act of faith, you know, mm -hmm. that you're telling God that it, yes, you believe it is done. So I, I personally, I do that a lot. You know, you attach, um, um, so I know that that one is good and call it specific, you know, you, it's not like you're buying his, but it is important yeah. and gratitude. But you call it, like you call that offering, uh, this is redemption for the firstborn. You call the offering, yeah. this is for I'm healing. For this, uh, yeah. this is for, yeah, for my work. Like, yeah, everything has a price to, to eat. And God will look at it because when the enemy is going to accuse you, the Lord will be pointing here. There is, there's a seed already sown for this. So you can do that. Just an encouragement. When you get the revelation, then you will understand. So ask the Holy Spirit to teach you about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, everyone. Finally, finally. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a blessed, blessed weekend. Okay. See you on the next session. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.